Okay, guys, we've never been this cooked ever. I, I totally forgot that I had to do the show today. Like, I did remember today, and then, like, I, I ate, and then it was an hour before I had to stream, and I was like, oh, shit, you gotta do the show today. It turns out I didn't do anything. I gotta close the PowerPoint presentation real quick. Wait, no, I don't. Okay, we're clutch, clutch, clutch. We clutched it. Okay. All right, everybody, welcome back to Esports Roundup, where I recap what is happening in esports this week. Uh, I'm late? I know. I'm sorry. All right. I uh, didn't do the show yesterday on Friday because I was uh, working in a restaurant doing my internship. Uh, my internship's over. I'm back to being unemployed. So hopefully we're going to do the show on Fridays again. Why am I half shaved? Because I forgot, dude. It's it's so bad. Like just now I was making I was making the show and I, I pasted like the stuff in the wrong PowerPoint at the repaste it. It's it's really bad. Usually you go you don't get to see this side of my face. Because uh, my camera angle is different. And also, this is just how my, my shit grows, unfortunately. It just all grows here. So much faster than it grows anywhere else. Anyhow, let's get into it. Starting with our tournament section. We've had Elite League happen and Extreme Gaming won 3-1 to one versus Falcons. Congratulations to them. I wish I had a picture, but this was a completely online tournament. So yeah, Falcons actually lost the grand final. Isn't that crazy? But they're, they're still on quite the streak. Uh, so yeah, congratulations to Extreme Gaming. Moving on to Intel Extreme Masters Chengdu where FaZe Clan won. Yes, they beat Mouse in the grand finals. Congratulations to them. Then moving on to the LCK, where Gen G won. They beat T1 3 to 2 in the grand finals. If I read this right, this is Gen G's fourth consecutive uh split or LCK split win. Uh kind of insane. Uh yeah, congratulations to Gen G. Alright, coming up, we have ESL1 Birmingham for Dota 2. Uh this is happening on uh, April 22nd, so Monday. I believe. Uh, we, this is how the groups look. In group A, we have Betboom, G2IG, Shopify Rebellion, Talon Esports, Team Falcons, Team Liquid. And in group B, we have Gaming Gladi Gladiators, Heroic, OG, Team Spirit, Tundra Esports, and Extreme Gaming. All right. Then moving on to the Africa TV StarCraft League, season 17, I believe. And this has been going on for like two months and I haven't covered it once yet, which I'm really deeply sorry about because I, I love ASL. I'm subscribed to uh, Tasteless and Artosis on Patreon, you know, to, to their ASL show because like they always they plug it and it's like they say it helps out a lot. And I want to I want to keep the English cast for ASL alive. Uh, th did I watch a single match? No, I haven't yet. I, I haven't even finished watching the, the matches from the last ASL yet because I've been busy. But I still love it, and this is what the bracket looks like. We've actually come down to the uh to, to the grand finals, where we have Hero and Sulky in the finals. Two Zergs, let's go! ZVZ in the finals, Zerg Bros, we're so we're so back. And then finally, we have happening right now. This is uh the uh, second pool in the Kroger Gaming uh Luminosity Inv Invitational. It's just Smash Ultimate, no melee. We've got Tweak, Light, MKLeo, The Buzz, and Hungrybox uh, still in uh, the second pool. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how it works. This is the pool we're playing right now. Uh, I probably should have put up the first pool. I might have just put it put it in in post because I'm now realizing there's just this is not the second wave of pools. It's just the second pool. All right, that'll do it for. Our tournament section now moving on to our main topics. All right, we've got Vicky Merge. Yes, uh, you might be able to see this in a small ass window. Uh, the Dota 2 wiki has moved to Liquipedia. Is this esports related? Yeah, kind of. Liquipedia is the esports wiki, it's what I use every time you guys see a bracket or anything like that on my screen uh, on the show. It's pulled from Liquipedia. Except for Smash, usually, because I pull those from Start GG. Liquipedia has wiki for wikis for basically every esport, and they're always up to date, and they always have great information, uh, endless information. 
And so I wanted to shout them out. They get they they're moving the Dota 2 wiki to Liquipedia. That means all the uh, the game knowledge, all the hero voice lines, everything is going to be on Liquipedia, which I find amazing because I love using the site. And uh, you know, I every once in a while my brain will want to hear some Dota hero voice lines because I've been thinking of them in my head and I want to hear them. And now I'm just gonna go to Liquipedia, which is amazing because I always I always have a Liquipedia tab open in my browser uh, on my phone. So yeah, I think that's great. A huge shout out to Liquipedia making this happen. And maybe we'll see this for more games. Maybe other games wikis will come to Liquipedia. I think that would be really cool. All right, <laughs> moving on to our second topic. A less joyous one for me personally. Straight ass with the A in the weird brackets. Because this is Alliance's rebrand. Yes, very storied. Uh, usually, like mostly like Dota Orc. Uh, Alliance has rebranded. They announced they were going to do something. This is what it looks like. This is the new lettering. Their logo is basically just the A. Like, their logo always used to be an A. They changed it before. It used to be all gray. Then it was green and black, kind of. But I gotta say, this one is really, really bad. It's like an April Fool's joke that was 17 days late. I hate how it looks. It looks like the kind of like the half... Half-Life Alex logo or like Half-Life logo in general. It just looks so bad. And it's like, I'm I'm a fan of like simple logos and everything, but like the logo was already simple enough. It was just an A with like three corners. Uh, I, I personally, I just hate it. I don't like the, I don't like the color either. I guess it's more like razor. I don't know. It's, it's just so bad. And maybe they'll rebrand again. I don't know. Evil Geniuses did it. Hopefully, you know, they're kind of, they used to be sister orcs. Maybe they'll actually get a good logo like EG did. I don't know. But this one is definitely not it. Like I said, straight ass. And yeah, I hope they change it again. All right, now for our final topic. And I think this is the big one. Uh, the Esports World Cup prize pool was announced. Uh, 60 million, which is four mortgages for Drake. Uh, I got two mortgages, 30 million in total, I believe is the line. So yeah, uh, that's what the gamers will be fighting for. It was uh, 10 million distributed in something, 30 million for the individual game titles, then 20 million for the club championship. Uh, I think this is the, the club championship is the really big one where you basically have orcs competing against each other across multiple titles which i think is super sick so yeah 60 million and you would be like yo that's a lot of money but it's also a lot of games it's spread across a lot of games and you gotta you gotta remember ti11 price pool was 40 million that's just for that was just for one game so 60 million eh, it's it's good money but like uh people were said like you're 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 esports washing you want to get the saudi money going all that stuff you want to put you want to get people to like uh freaking the Saudi Arabia government, maybe esports wash a little harder. Why not a hundred million? I don't know. Is it is that blood money really that tight? Uh, shouldn't we be getting more? I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah. I don't. I'm not entirely sure what to think. I think sixty million is probably fine. I'm. I. I think I'm happy if the, if the price pool for Dota is lower than TI, so TI stays the premier in event in basically every way, even price pool, even though. Yeah, it has been falling off recently because of all of the changes Valve made. Uh, other than that, I, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be great bread for like freaking Street Rider players or something like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, that'll basically do it from my end. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. All right, I'm ending stream. I'm going to restart with Splatoon. It's going to take a bit. I need to make a thumbnail and I need to get some coffee. So uh, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Bye.